Yo, what's going on guys? Time for another reaction video. And today I'll be reacting to Amazing Secrets Hidden in Everyday Things Part 2. I haven't watched part one yet. Should I have started with a part one? Maybe I'll go back and do that one later. But if you're new to my channel, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like it, subscribe to my channel and also hit that little bell notification so you'll get notified every time I upload another video. And if you enjoy this video, also please do me the favor and share this video uh, so that I can continue growing my audience. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. It's 12 and a half minutes, so better to get started now. What if I told you that your understanding of the objects you use every day is barely the tip of the iceberg? Well, it's true. And I'll also say this real fast. If there's something in here that you see in the video that you were not aware of, like the things they're about to identify, tell me that in the comments. I'm going to see how many of them I know already and which ones are completely new to me. From the real uses of McFlurry spoons to the hidden functions of your own microwave, get ready to find out some amazing secrets hidden in everyday things. Amazing. Number 20. Zipper Flipper. Ever been stuck with a zipper that won't stay all the way up? It's a mild inconvenience that every jeans wearer has faced, but there's an easy fix. Most jeans have a similar type of zipper with a little known built-in locking mechanism. Instead of leaving the zipper handle in an upward position, make sure you flip the handle downwards. This automatically locks the zipper. I was already aware of this, but were you? In place, stopping it from slipping down and making sure you're never left with your pants down in public. Number 19. Secret Safety Glass You may have noticed these unusual glass panels skirting the ceiling around stairwells in certain types of buildings. While initially they seem like an aesthetic choice, they actually serve a potentially life-saving purpose. In the event of a fire, the sealed glass panes block smoke from rising to the floors above via the stairs. By trapping it on one level, the people above are less likely to suffocate and can see their way out much easier. Was not aware of that. Number 18. Toilet Stall Gaps For any visitor to the USA, one of the worst things is discovering how large the gaps in toilet stall doors tend to be. And for any who have wondered why this evil practice exists, the answer is no better. The doors are specifically designed to minimize the level of comfort and privacy experienced by the users of the restroom. This is an attempt to get people to do their business and move on as quickly and cleanly as possible by making it clear that others can see in. I guess clever design doesn't have to be pleasant, does it? I thought it was just so that like if uh, some reason they couldn't get it unlocked from the outside, which most of them have the ability to do that, that they could easily climb under there, which who would want to do that? But it would give them that uh, ability to do so. I don't know. I hate using public restrooms. Unless I'm at Bucky's. Shout out to Bucky's. <laughs> Number 17. Stink Pipes when exploring your local town, you may have stumbled across these unusual poles. They look like old lamp posts, but with the lamp part missing, which may have left you scratching your head. But they have a purpose, and it's pretty weird. These headless lamp posts are actually called stench poles, or stink pipes, and you'd better be thankful that they're as tall as they are. They're designed to release the air from the sewers below. This is to prevent the buildup of dangerous, explosive gases down below, while also draining out some of the stink. Luckily, they're usually taller than lampposts, so the stink dissipates above our heads and noses. But pro tip, don't climb these. The only prize at the top is that you'll be smelling for weeks. Number 16. Pocket Hooks If you've ever put your cold hands inside your jacket pockets on a winter's day, you may have discovered one of these hooks connected to the jacket with elasticated string. While these hooks probably won't work as miniature grappling hooks, they do serve a useful function. They're designed to be attached to your keys or onto any ID passes you may need handy to prevent them falling out if you remove other items from your pockets. If you didn't know that one already, I don't know what to say. The hook clips easily on and off of your key ring and prevents you ever being locked outside in the cold, unless your roommate changes the locks. Number 15. Blank Pages you may have noticed while reading a book, there are often blank pages at the end. It seems like an unbelievable waste of paper. 
but it comes down to the manufacturing process. Books are printed on large sheets that, depending on the size of the sheet, can fit multiple printed pages. As these sheets mostly house pages in multiples of four, a book with an odd number of pages, or a number of pages that isn't a multiple of four, can result in space being left over. To save time, publishers simply include the blank pages in their assembly process to the confusion of us readers. Number 14. I always just thought they were there in case you wanted to put some sort of notes or something in there for yourself. Cork talk. If you've ever bought a wine bottle but had no bottle opener to remove the cork, you've probably asked yourself, why aren't all wine bottles screw capped? Well, the answer varies depending on who you ask. But the main reason cork is still favored despite the existence of screw caps is that it allows wine to breathe. Although it's watertight, cork allows a tiny amount of air to pass between the wine and the outside world. This is what allows corked wines to age into better flavors, something that's almost impossible with screw-topped wines. But as most supermarket wines are best consumed within two or so years of purchase, maybe screw tops really are the way forward for the non-connoisseurs out there. Number 13. Hidden Locks If your home is relatively old, you may have noticed some of these circular notches embedded in the door frames by the handle. No, they're not a secret code left by previous tenants. These notches are part of an old-fashioned locking mechanism. Pressing one of the buttons in will disable the doorknob on one side. I've never seen these in a house, but I definitely remember seeing these in like schools and stuff and uh, commercial buildings. Out of the door until a key is used. This came in handy before the simpler button press lock came along to bless bathrooms everywhere. Number 12. Golf Ball Brilliance Ever wondered why golf balls have dimpled surfaces? Well, this wasn't always the case. Originally, golf balls were designed to be round and smooth. But in the 19th century, golfers started noticing that their overused chip, dented golf balls actually flew better than their unblemished ones. So people began intentionally creating dimpled golf balls. But why do dimpled golf balls fly better? Well, when a perfectly round, smooth ball flies through the air, it leaves a wake behind it, which creates drag, slowing the ball down. Adding dimples creates a thin boundary layer of air that clings to the surface, which causes the air to flow further towards the back of the ball. This reduces the size of the wake and, consequently, reduces the drag. The dimples also optimize the lift force on the ball, giving it more of an upward motion in its flight, letting it travel further for longer. I figured there was an obvious reason of why the golf balls were like that, but it's interesting to finally find out why they are that way. So maybe we should lay into airplanes with BB guns for smoother flights. Best to ask your local law enforcement for approval before you do though. Number 11. Wine Wisdom At some point, you might have felt ripped off when you noticed the big dent, seemingly wasting space in the bottom of your wine bottles. But the unusual feature, known as a punt, serves several important functions. For starters, it flattens the bottom of the bottle, preventing it from toppling easily, while also collecting sediments from the wine, preventing most of them being poured out. But these functions are likely a happy byproduct of the wine bottle's manufacturing history. Wine bottles used to be fashioned by blowing a bubble of glass and spinning it into shape. Doing this often left a mark at the bottom of the bottle, but by pressing the mark inward, it would be shielded from view while also adding those handy benefits I mentioned, among others. Cheers! I thought they were going to say because, which I've seen a lot of people do, you put your thumb in there and you hold it like this and can pour it. To me, that makes no sense because it seems like it's more likely that you would drop it, but that's what I thought they were going to say. And windshield dots. You've probably noticed those unusual black dots around the border of car windscreens. But other than looking kind of cool, what do they do? Well, the black dots help to block and disperse the glare of sunlight at the edges of the windscreen essentially giving your vehicle partial sunglasses. The dots also serve as a smooth transition from the solid black line around the windscreen, which serves a bigger purpose. The black border covers up the adhesive that secures the window in place, while also protecting it from the sun's UV rays. This prevents damage to the adhesive, keeping your windshield firmly in place for longer, all while pimping your ride with pop art stylings. Number 9. Lollipop Lifesaver I don't know about you, but as a kid, I was certain the hole in the end of a lollipop stick was there to turn it into a whistle. Unfortunately, the truth isn't quite so musical. The hole is there so that a little bit of candy can harden inside the hole, securing it in place so it doesn't slide out the stick when it hardens. Way less fun, I know. Number 8. Crosswalk Assistance 
the eagle-eyed or eagle-fingered viewers out there may have noticed this well-concealed spinning dial under the buttons at pedestrian crossings. It's not just a fun thing for bored kids to twist while they wait. It actually acts as an indication of when it's safe to cross for people who are both deaf and blind. That I did not know. That's pretty interesting. When it spins, it means the little green man is showing, and it's safe to cross. Number 7. Highway Hints It may surprise you to learn that there's some clever logic behind American road numbers. For example, even-numbered roads tend to run east and west. So, a little uh, fun fact. Uh, I worked at a defensive driving company for about seven years, and a lot of what I did was making videos, uh, educational videos for our course. And so everything they're about to talk about right here, I'm almost certain I've made a video for this. It's going to talk about, you know, what numbers mean east and west, what numbers mean north and south, um, which ones mean interstates, which ones are internal states, uh, which ones mean a loop, which ones are a spur. Yeah. Odd number roads tend to run north and south. Highways with three numbers tend to be roads that circumnavigate cities instead of going right through them. For example, I-294 goes around Chicago, skirting right around the edges of the city. This all comes in super handy if you need to skip those busy city roads on your next cross-country trip. Number 6. Pin Cap Precautions Did you know the hole in pin caps is legally required to be there to save lives? It's true. In the event that a child, or dumb adult, swallows the cap, the hole allows some air to pass through reducing the severity of the blockage during removal. This isn't the only useful hole on a pin though, as the hole in the side or end of a ballpoint is designed to prevent a buildup in air pressure. This vent hole prevents a vacuum forming which would stop ink flowing into the nib. It also prevents the pen from exploding during a change of pressure like on airplanes. Many an air traveler's pocket was soaked with ink on the path of this invention, so pour one out for the inky heroes of the past. Number 5 McFlurry Spoons Admit it, at least once you've tried to use a McFlurry Spoon as a straw. I know I certainly have. But despite their straw-like appearance, they have a totally different function. They're actually just elaborate stirrers. When your McFlurry is being made, all the ice cream and additional components, like chocolate sprinkles and syrups, are poured in one after the other. To make sure the ingredients are distributed throughout the whole McFlurry, the server will shove your spoon into the middle and hook the spoon up to a specialized machine. Once clipped in place with that hook at the top of the spoon, the machine stirs the McFlurry and it's soon ready to go. I didn't know that. Bon Appetit Number 4. Chip Bag Circles While enjoying some chips, you've probably noticed these mysterious colored dots along the back of the bag. They're actually there to add a dash of color to the bag, but not for your entertainment. The dots serve as a quick way for manufacturers to check the quality of the colors their printers are producing. If the color dots aren't right, it's back to the assembly line for a new ink job. That's really what that's for? I, I mean, it makes sense, but I, I thought it had something to do with when they were made or I don't know. I didn't know that's what it was for. Number 3. Microwave Silent Mode Desperate to enjoy a late night snack without waking the whole neighborhood with your microwave's incessant beeping? Say no more. You may not realize, but most microwaves with digital displays have silent modes, typically activated by a single button. On many machines, all you need to do is hold down the number 1 button for a couple of seconds. Once you've held down your machine's specific button for long enough, all those loud annoying beeps should be deactivated. Enjoy your late night burritos. Number 2. Elevator Door Holes Though it looks like a peephole, this hole in an elevator door isn't there to spy on whoever's in the elevator. These tiny holes you may have spotted on your travels are, in fact, keyholes. They're built into elevator doors so they can be opened whether the elevator is on that floor or not. I know about that because I got trapped in an elevator before, actually twice, at one of my old jobs. Um, and that's what they had to use to get the door to open. This allows quick access to the elevator shaft during emergencies. So in this case, what looks like a bullet hole is actually there to save lives. Number 1. Pen Fins If you've ever bought a pen slightly above the quality of a standard ballpoint, it may have featured these strange fins inside. Far from simply a visual choice, these fins serve an important purpose. As ink travels towards the head of the pen, it pools in each of the fins. 
This means that more ink is always available instantly for the user. Plus, in the instance the warmth of your hand causes the air in a pen to expand, the ink is sent into the fins instead of being forced out all over your page or hands. Fountain pens usually feature a similar mechanism too. It's a surprisingly sophisticated design that may have saved you from many an ink ruined page. And you probably never even realized it. Did you learn anything new about everyday items? All right, learned a few new things. What about you guys? You tell me in the comments, were there some new things here for you or did you know most of these already? Uh, if you got suggestions of things for me to react to, please tell me in the comments. Um, I've reacted to music videos. I've reacted to very odd and unique uh, animations, um, things caught on camera. I'm, you know, I'll react to just about anything. So you guys just keep on suggesting and I'll keep on making them. I will see you guys in the next video. Later.